Well, hey, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to find real estate investors to partner with. Now, why is this important? Because if you are actively doing real estate deals and you're self-financing your deals, sooner or later, you're going to hit that wall, you're gonna run out of cash and credit to do more deals on your own, and you're gonna to have to look at partnering up with other people and using other people's money. So what we're gonna be talking about here today is how to find the fastest capital, in my opinion, the best capital and the safest capital that you can possibly go after when it comes to other people's money. I'm also gonna show you what to do and what not to do when it comes to raising private capital. So what we wanna do first is we wanna focus on your existing network of contacts. What do I mean by that? People that you have in your sphere of influence, people who you already know and who already know you. So who is that? That can be your friends, your family members, coworkers, business associates, people that you know from outside associations, your church, civic organizations, sporting clubs, what have you. You have a pre-existing relationship with these folks. Now, why is this important? It's important for a bunch of reasons. Number one, we gotta be logical. When you're first starting to bring on joint venture partners or investors, and you're gonna ask somebody to invest 50, 75, $100,000 or more with you, that person needs to know you, like you, and trust you with their money. If you're going out to strangers, they don't know you, they don't like you, and they certainly do not trust you with your money. Now, you're going out to your friends, your family members, people that already know you, you already have that pre-existing relationship, they already know you, they already like you, and to a certain degree, they already trust you. So now it's about turning that conversation around real estate. The other important point about working with friends and family is this is the fastest capital you can go after. Once the person understands that you're serious about real estate investing and you know what you're doing, if they are ready, willing, and able to invest, they're going to do it a lot faster than if you were starting a whole new relationship with somebody from scratch. Does that make sense? So it's the fastest way to get the capital and it's also the safest capital that you can be going after. If you're in the States, you've got the Securities and Exchange Commission, you've got your state regulatory authorities. If you're in Canada, each province has its own regulatory authority. And bottom line, they all say it's illegal for you and I as a mom and pop real estate investor to go out to the general public and solicit investors. Unless you're licensed to do so, or unless you've got certain exemptions, or you've set up an offering memorandum, all of these things which tend to be very cumbersome and expensive, especially when you're just getting started with, with raising capital. However, in most cases, and again, check with your local authorities, in most cases, you can work with people that you already have a pre-existing relationship with, people like friends and family members. So that's why we want to focus on it. It's the easiest, it's the fastest, and it's the safest capital you can go after. Now, the second thing we want to talk about is you want to avoid just charging in like a bull in a china shop and saying, hey, it's Dave, I got the deals, have you got the dough? Trust me, it does not go over that well. That's what I did way back in the day when I first started raising capital and I fell flat on my face. So here's what you want to do instead. Instead of doing that, you want to warm people up. You want to break the ice with folks and start the conversation on a more personal level and then gradually switch it over to real estate investing. We call this a warm-up campaign. So again, it's all about getting the word out, reconnecting with people on more of a personal level before we start talking capital, before we start talking about having them invest with your deals. So we do a very, very simple three-step warm-up campaign when we're doing this with our clients. It's three simple little emails that you can send out like a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday, and it does all of that pretty much on autopilot. And the third thing we wanna talk about is how to get the word out about what you're up to with real estate investing, especially to your list of prospective investors, your, your current sphere of influence. And what we like to do is what I call the three C's, constant, consistent, edutaining communication. So what does constant mean? It means that on a regular basis, you are communicating with people. And I recommend once a week, at minimum, okay? So that's that constancy. You're always drip, 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 communicating with people about what you're up to with real estate investing. And then the second thing is consistent. What do I mean by that? What's the difference between constant and consistent? Well, constant, we're talking about the timing every single week. Consistent, I'm talking about the messaging. You're always talking about the same thing. So for example, if you're a real estate investor and you're focusing on doing 
buy, fix, and sells or flips, then that's what you're going to be talking about all the time. You're always going to be talking about flipping properties. You're always going to be bringing example of the examples of the flips that you're working on or the flips that you've done in the past or the flips that you're looking at doing. It's always keeping consistent about what you're up to. You're always going to be talking about which market you're focusing on, right? Because if one day you're talking about doing flips and then another time you're talking about rental properties and then another time you're talking about multifamily and then you're switching things all around, it confuses your viewer and they kind of start to think of you as a jack of all trades, master of none. So you want to keep very, very focused on your primary real estate investing strategy and your primary market that you're focusing on. So again, that's the constant, consistent, edutaining communication. Now, what does edutaining mean? Edutaining means that your marketing is a little bit educational and hopefully a little bit entertaining. Now, I don't mean you have to turn into a clown or tell lots of jokes or something like that. It's all about telling stories. So when you're explaining something, always to try to tie it in with a story that makes sense. All right, now here's a great example of how to find real estate investors to partner with. This is a client of mine, a couple actually, Bobby and Jenny Witten, and they just started working with us recently. And these folks have been actively investing in real estate for quite some time. They've got quite a good track record. They've been self-financing all their deals, but like most of us, they've run out of cash and credit to grow their portfolio. So now they're starting to look at expanding their reach and bringing on joint venture partners. Now, here's the thing. These guys had already been talking to their friends and family on a, on a kind of a casual, irregular basis about what they were doing with real estate investing. When we started working with them, we got much, much more focused with this constant, consistent, edutaining communication. So now, every single week, a bit of edutaining communication is coming out from them to their prospective investors. Now, what has this resulted in? In less than four weeks, they've got their first two investors on board. And here's what really surprised them. These folks already knew that Bobby and Jenny were investing in real estate. They were aware of it. However, they didn't take action and reach out to them until they started seeing the marketing. Now, why is that? Well, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's because now that they see that Bobby and Jenny are taking this very, very seriously, that they're consistently communicating with people about it. So now that they're taking it seriously and, and they're consistent about that, that shows that they are serious. And that gives the other people, that gives their investors a lot more confidence in working with them. All right, well, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you'd like to find out more about how you too can find investor partners to work with you, then I'm gonna recommend that you get a free copy of my new book, The Money Partner Formula. You can get that by either clicking on the link that's below this video, or you can go to investorattractionbook.com. And this is gonna walk you through my entire Money Partner Formula and show you how to access six figures of investor capital in as little as a few weeks and seven figures over a course of a few months. So go ahead, again, click on the link below to get your free copy of the book.